In case you just stumbled across this video, I'm the Dave half of Dave and Diane throwing caution to the wind. At the time of this video, we've been full-time RVers for 11 years. We have camped in over 450 different locations all across the country. We've, had, we've seen some fantastic areas of the country, and we've met a number of great people during our travels. And last year, we ran into some roadblocks. Last year was a great year of travel. However, we ran into a lot of things that got us thinking. So one of the things that happened is I had about a vertigo. That had us off the road for a little bit. Diane broke her kneecap. That caused us some grief for a while and still causing her grief until today. And then I had a heart issue that actually I died three times in March. All those things combined got us thinking that we need to have a place that we can hunker down at in case something really bad happened to us. We need to recover or get off the road for a length of time for whatever reason comes around. Which is what brings us to this video and a small series of videos we're going to be doing. We ended up buying a chunk of land in Oregon that we're going to develop so we can park our RV on and have a small casita there that if we need to, we can come back and hunker down, like I said, and recover from whatever might have happened. Also, we hope that that piece of land is something we can share with others as they travel through the area. So we thought you might like to follow along with us, see what we're going through to get this piece of land developed. It really has been a challenge so far, and you'll see that in this video. Um, I will keep this series of videos in a playlist called, I think it's called Our New RV Property. You can check that out. That's where I'll put all these videos. You may want to hit that subscribe button and follow along with us. Anyway, this is just one of many. So check this video out, follow along with us, and let us know down below in the comments what you think. All right, I want to do a little update because the last two days we've spent here at the property. For one reason was the septic guys were coming out to pump the septic and do a septic inspection. That didn't go as planned. Nothing ever does. So they came out. They were trying to find out where the tank was. We have old drawings for the septic. And I don't know if you can see behind me here. You see some holes. They started digging with a shovel to try and find out where the tank was so they could pump it. The ground is extremely hard. They were told they probably needed to be, bring out an excavator with them so they could dig down to the tank. So the only thing they brought out here for an excavator was a shovel. So the first guy came out, started running his uh, test uh, wires, his inspection camera down through the lines. He got hung up right in this area. He did his little tester thing. Anyway, started digging down, couldn't find the septic tank. Another buddy came out with his pumping truck about an hour later and he started digging a little bit too, trying to find the tank. No such luck. So, as far as the septic goes, that's what we have done. Right now, I think we have a excavator coming out on Friday. He's gonna dig down in here, try and find the tank so they can pump it and inspect the lines and check out all the leach field and stuff. So, that's the septic. Then, we met with a contractor and he went through here and looked at the soon to be Casita. Now he's going to come out with an electrician so they can look at that inside there and see what it's going to take to wire it up and then uh, he's going to give us a quote on doing the framing for a bathroom which is going to be a shower, a toilet and a sink and then a little kitchenette area and also taking out the garage door if we need to and put in a French door there. We won't put any glass in the French door because we wanted to open up to the patio we're going to have done. So that was done yesterday. And then today we came out and we met with an excavator. And the excavator, um, is, he just took all these measurements. He did all these measurements with his wheel and whatever else. So right here behind me is where the RV pad's going to go. So about where Diane is right now, we're going to put the RV right here in this section and then this will all be gravel six inch deep probably and then right out here behind me in this little v-shaped grass area that will also be gravel and then we'll be able to take out a couple trees up here and then make the turn really easy with the RV our driveway the horseshoe driveway is I think he said 430 feet so anyway that's where we're at oh we also did him uh, he's gonna give us a quote in front of the garage door right there we are going to have them quote a 20 foot by 20 foot patio. That way when we park our RV right here, the 
door can, or the steps can come down and, and land on our patio. We have a nice patio section. And the plan is to, we've been kind of watching the sun. It stays pretty shaded all, all day. Morning sun, which is fine. Midday, it stays pretty shaded. Right now, it's about 3.30 in the patio area. We'll be getting some sun. So uh, we may not do anything over it because the coach might provide some shade. But if anything, we're going to put some, some of those, uh, we'll put a post out here. And we'll do those shade sales for a little extra shade. So anyway, I thought we would have better numbers in line and some other things figured out. But the only, actually, the only thing holding us up is the septic right now. So hopefully that gets done in the next few days or actually by Friday and we can actually start moving forward. So anyway, um, to go along with all this stuff, the guy that owned this passed away. Um, I guess his kids didn't have anything to do with him much in the last few years. Now, of course, he's died and now there's stuff to be had. And now they're all battling over that kind of thing, which is none of our doings. And they have stuff back here in the building they have to get out of here they have a container over here they have to get out of here and all the stuff inside there so again we're not involved in that but it's slowing us down because they're not getting it done okay that's the update for now not much of an update but gives you an idea of some of the stuff going on all right we'll continue on when we know something all right we're back out the property for another report we were back out here this is friday uh, I think on the last segment we showed you where the guys came out to try and pump the tank, septic tank, and to do an inspection. And they couldn't find the septic tank. So, because they couldn't find it and they didn't have any tools, they don't have an excavator, they hired, or we hired, we didn't hire, but the sellers um, hired an excavator to come out today to dig down and find the septic tank. So all we had to go by are some old, now this property was developed back in the 70s, so it wasn't much required back then. So it was sketches and all kinds of funky things, no real measurements. And uh, so, so the excavator came out and started digging where the first set of inspectors came out to try and pump it where they said to dig. No tank. He dug a hole in two or three spots, we'll show you a little bit of that in this video. He dug holes in two or three spots and uh, then I said, okay, I'm not telling you what to do, but go up there to the line that we know where it is coming out of this garage and just start scraping backwards. Follow the line. It'll take you to the septic tank, hopefully. So he did that. He started going backwards and backwards. Well, then what did we find? We found a broken septic line. Now, it doesn't really matter because <clears throat> there's no plumbing in that garage right now, so it didn't really matter if that line's broken because we have to run a new line from there for the new bathroom anyway. But it got us going the right direction toward where the septic tank was. Well, way prior to this, they had this drawing. I went to the well, and I paced off where I thought it would be, and I put an X in the ground with my foot. After three or four holes and following that line, guess where the septic tank was? Right where I put my X in the dirt. But again, we weren't paying for this work being done. That's a seller. And the agent was here overseeing it all, so I had no control. We were here to observe, not to control the situation, which is hard for me not to open my mouth. But anyway, so now he found the septic tank. He dug down. He left it exposed. It's right here behind me. Um, they have, we, we, we didn't, but the seller's agent fired the other company that was going to do the inspection, hired another company, and, of course, they're going to come in now next week. And they're going to pump the, tank, pump the tank, which is full, and inspect the tank and the leach field. So, what a turmoil. Anyway, hey, at least we know that the pipes are busted over here. We know what we have to do when we put the bathroom in the casita. <laughs> and we knew there was going to be things come up, right? Nothing's going to go 100%. But anyway, so at this point, you'll see some video of excavation work being done right back here behind me. Right back here is the septic tank, which really works out pretty well. So let me spin around. I'm, I'm just going to spin you around and I'll tell you about it. All right, so part of the stage is here as we go um, to make this legal for us to be up here on the property. Right inside that wall is where the bathroom is going to be, right? So there's going to be a, 
shower and a toilet over there in the corner and then a vanity and it has to tie out here now here's a clean out right here but there's no plumbing inside so they can tie in they have to go underneath this foundation to get into the bathroom but and then follow this where this marking is is where the existing line is and it takes you off to the holding tank so they're gonna have to dig all this up and put a new line for that bathroom which is fine not a big deal I mean we'd rather not do it we had this this was all dug up by the way this was down we were down to the pipe and then we come out here and the pipe was broken here so it has to be replaced anyway and then what happens is you can see the lid of the tank right there so what has happened when they had the last manufactured home here their septic came out over here somewhere and drained in this top pipe it went over an elbow and then went into the septic i don't know if that's 100 percent code but that's what they did back in the day i'm sure it was code so now what we're going to do of course we're going to do all this the bathroom and new line here and then this will tie into the septic tank and then for the clean out for the rv that's going to sit here we will put a new line here put a new elbow we'll run a line up here and we're going to run that 20 foot to this dot and then we're going to do a clean out right here for the rv so there you go he's going to run downhill and go in into the tank uh, new lines over there from the bathroom that's going to be that's right where our septic uh, is on the coach so we'll just come we'll be parked right here we'll have a we can use five foot of sewer hose if we want to and go there or, or, or hard plumbing if we want to while we're here and that's where it's going to be now the coach we've kind of lined out because we have bids on doing gravel here and doing this pad so this is the front corner of the coach where the bedroom is the nose cap so you kind of got an idea we'll be just to the left of the holding tank so there'll be no weight the axles will be up here in the middle somewhere no weight on any septic systems at all so that's perfect septic line for the coach here's a corner here's a corner this corner lines up with the concrete down there this will all be gravel this will be our parking pad and then we're also going to have them take this so to leave this is where we're going to hook up the truck we're going to limb up those trees so we can get through at least 14 foot high we told them that will all be graveled where that grass is and then we can just drive out and we'll have some more lemon in there and we can drive out and go out to the street and then of course this is again down the road or whatever right here somewhere is where the front door will come down and then we will do a 20 by 20 24 foot 25 foot patio off that concrete line back there out to here so it just goes past the steps and then over and this will all be outdoor patio <laughs> So it was a good day that we did finally find the septic tank. It was a bummer that it took a lot longer than it needed to be. It's really a bummer that we can't get somebody out here to pump that and do the inspection until next week. It just keeps on getting postponed and postponed and postponed. We're in Oregon. We've already canceled our Colorado trip. We've already canceled our Kansas trip. We have reservations to be down in Arizona for the winter come November 1st that we don't want to miss. We're going to leave this area the last week of October. So now we're just planning on staying here to oversee this. I have a doctor's appointment on the 21st. So uh, we're kind of in limbo going through it all. But hey, this is all part of it, right? So if you're watching this thinking about this is something you have to do down the road as full-timers getting off the road, if you're going to deal with the county somewhere and old, old uh, homesteads, that kind of thing, all this is going to be part of it. Nothing's easy when you deal with the county and the state. There you go. That's our update for today. We have nothing until they do the next, uh, the pumping and inspection. We'll probably report back then. Dang, you look tall in that screen. She's not really that tall. She's standing on the uphill side of this hillside we're on. So we want to do another, another little report here today. Um, first off, I must say happy birthday. So I was good to her today. I brought her out here on her birthday. <laughs> To watch the septic get pumped and inspected. He's such a romantic. Ah, how many how many ladies can say that their man took him out <laughs> to a good old septic pumping? Why haven't I traded you in <laughs> before then? Maybe I shouldn't brag about that. No. Anyway, so we came out here today. We uh, went and had lunch first before we came out. Had a great lunch, and we met the guys out here to do the pumping of the septic. 
So they pumped it all out. The septic tank looked good. I think it was going to pass the inspection. We not, we won't know until we get a report. But anyway, it sounds good. He went out and checked the leach field. That was my biggest concern. And he said the leach field looks fine. But again, uh, I do have a couple pipes that we have to have, we have to fix. And I'm going to show those to you. But uh, anyway, that's our real... <laughs> you going to run off now? She's going to leave. But uh, I wanted to come in and do a real quick report. Let you know that uh, we did have the septic pump. We've been trying to do for... How many times have you been out here for that? Three times? I don't know. It's been horrible trying to get that septic pump. Nice guys. Let me show you those pipes real quick. All right. So there is the tank lid. We've showed you that before. This goes out to the leach field. So the excavator, no doubt hit that pipe can you see it down there so this goes out the leach field is right out in this area right out here there's there's two lines that go out to the leach field so i think what we're going to do either i will fix it or we'll have someone fix it we're just going to, to uh, put a t in there with a couple of sweeps and have it come up and we're going to put a clean out that's the easiest way it may not be the easiest way but it's a great way to do it so a double sweep a riser and a cap and this can be for a clean out and then like i said the septic field the drain field is going to pass inspection there is the tank looks like the baffles were in good shape i think what we might do is run some water in this direction and make sure the backflow is working properly and then uh, so there's the tank again how many times am i going to say that and this pipe is just disconnected it's just it's broken right here, I should say. So see right there? So what happened is there was a manufactured home here, and their septic was up here somewhere, and it drained down and then dropped into the tank. Well, again, the excavator hit that pipe. So what we have to do is, well, just fix that pipe. But what I want to do is fix this, run new pipe, just take all this out, run new pipe up to here, which is 20 foot, Right there where that piece of, that little bit of paint is. That's 20 foot, and I want to do a riser here, and that's where we plan to put our drain for the RV. All right, well, that's it for today. I think we're all set now. Um, they're going to clean the rest of the stuff off the property. We've talked about that in the past. They have some family members coming up from California over the weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're supposed to get all this cleared out, all the stuff that they want. And then whatever's left, they have a guy hired he's going to come and clean the rest of the property whatever else is laying around he's going to load up and take away and then we're ready to transfer funds and get ready for signing and then this property will be ours how's that for an update today so what do you think about the progress so far i know a lot hasn't happened but a lot of things will happen in these future videos so hopefully you find this interesting hopefully it's a little bit educational Hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button, leave some comments down below, let us know what you think, and you follow along with us on this journey. All right, so until the next time, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.